from Tulsa, Oklahoma, where you are a middle school English teacher. And I understand that you got the call from Millionaire actually in the classroom, right in the middle of my six block class. And the phone rang and everybody went nuts. I said, y'all have to be quiet. This is Millionaire calling me. 27, 14-year-olds immediately fell silent. And they give you any advice? Um, go for the million. Mm -hmm. but, oh, <laughs> easy for them. It's easy for them to say. Exactly. Not their money, right? Well, let's start. You know the rules. You know the lifelines. You ready to play? I am. Do it for the kids. Thank you. Let's play millionaire. <laughs> Going for hundred here now. What movie features a singing group known as the Von Trapp Family Singers? Almost Famous, The Sound of Music, Funny Girl, Grumpy Old Men. That would be the Sound of Music. Final answer. You got it for $100. Call for 200 The front of an aircraft is often referred to as its what? Nose, mouth, chest, chin. I think I'll go with nose. Final answer. It is the nose. You have it again for 200 Call for 300 On a classic TV sitcom, Earthling Mindy McConnell lives with an alien named what? Alf, Uncle Martin, Fox, Mork. One of my favorites. D. Mork. Final answer. Robin Williams, you got it for $300. Well, for $500. Native to Australia, the emu is what type of animal? Snake, bird, goat, fish. Uh, let's go with D. Bird. Final answer. You got it again for $500. Going well, for $1,000. William Masters and Virginia Johnson are best known for their pioneering studies on what subject? Human sexuality, depression, preschool education, subliminal advertising. Middle school is hormone heaven. This is going to be A, human sexuality. It's so scary it is. You got it right for $1,000. American composer John Philip Sousa is best known for writing what type of musical composition? Polkas, ballads, waltzes, marches. My son is a drummer. Um, D, marches, final answer. You got it again for $2,000. These students are right, you do know a lot. <laughs> Going for 4000 here. Piccolo is an Italian word meaning which of the following? Fast, colorful, loud, small. Piccolo. I teach a, uh, everything you need to know about art and music at the end of the year in preparation for our testing. And this is one of them. If you play the piccolo, you play the small D. Final answer. You do. You got it for $4,000. Nancy's doing fantastic. She's going for $8,000. Eight away from a million when we come back. Nancy Christie, a teacher from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and somewhere in Tulsa, those kids that were so quiet when you got the millionaire call are screaming their heads off right about now. They are. They're just going nuts. Because, listen, look at this. You've got 4,000. You haven't used one lifeline yet. Oh, terrific. Can you believe how well you're doing? Uh, no, but, <laughs> but I'm you glad. Are. Absolutely. Glad. You're going for 8,000 now. Are you ready to play? I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, let's play. <laughs> An erg machine simulates which of these activities? Cross-country skiing, swimming, rowing a boat, climbing stairs. Oh. I wish I spent more time in health club. But, uh, I think on this one I'm going to go with the audience. The audience? They look like a healthy, aware bunch. Okay, audience, Nancy needs your help. On your keypad using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Forty-five percent believe it's rowing a boat. Twenty-nine say climbing stairs. Eighteen for cross-country skiing. Eight percent believe it. The direction I was leaning, that's kind of one of those, you know, total body type things. If you don't get past the little ones, you don't get a chance with the big ones. Right. Do one more thing. Let's go ahead and do 50-50 also. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. Does that uh, Yeah, it really does. Go 
ahead and go with C. Rowing the boat, and we'll do the final answer and come on, audience. Hey, thank you, audience. Thank you, audience. You got it right for $8,000. going to 16,000. A 1939 treaty between the USSR and Germany secretly laid the groundwork for the division of what country during World War II? Italy, Poland, France, United Kingdom. Good grief. I wish I was better at history. You know what? Let's go ahead and use my phone to pray and then I'm going to call Angela. Who's Angela? Angela is my fellow teacher, right lady. Okay. Our friends at AT&T are going to help us get Angela on the line. Hello? Angela? Yes. Hey, hi, how are you? It's Meredith from Millionaire. Oh, we're doing great. I'm doing great. Good. Well, Nancy says you're a very smart lady. Oh, well, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. Well, she hopes so, too. She's over $16,000. Oh, great. Nancy, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts right now. A 1939 treaty between the USSR and Germany secretly laid the groundwork for the division of what country during World War II? Italy, Poland, France, United Kingdom. 1939 treaty, USSR and Germany. USSR and Germany. Italy, Poland, France, United Kingdom. Seven okay. seconds. Okay, 39 treaty, USSR, Germany, World War II. Oh, bye. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, Nancy, you're out here alone now. Uh-huh. I'm going to go with B, Poland. And that's going to be my final answer. You know, one of the things that you teach kids is to take chances in life. Your students will be very proud of you, Nancy. You took a chance to deserves to win big here at Millionaire? Well, our returning contestant, Nancy Christie from Tulsa, Oklahoma, that's who. As a single mom with two kids, she put herself through college while working three jobs, and it all paid off because she is now a middle school English teacher, and that is quite an accomplishment. Hats off to you. Thank you. Really, Thank you. it must have been extremely difficult. Well, it, I was tired a lot, but yeah. I've, got, I've got a couple of great kids. We'd all sit together around the dining room table and do our homework together, and I'd use them for my projects. If I had to give reading evaluations, I'd drag them in and evaluate their reading skills, and it was great. They, and how they old are your kids now? My daughter is now a freshman in college, and my son is a sophomore in high school. Well, you've done good, Mom. Thank you. You really have. Thank you. We're proud of you. Thank you. And you <laughs> Absolutely. It's hard. I've seen you before. It's hard enough to raise it when you have the whole family with a husband, and then you're doing it on your own. And all those jobs yeah. and it's paying off right here I gotta tell you because you've won 16,000 you are just six questions away from winning one million dollars but no lifelines right. okay out on a limb here out on a limb but you're doing great you ready I'm ready audience are you ready <laughs> all right then let's play millionaire okay Nancy this is for 32,000 get this right you can't leave with less than 32 in the 1964 musical Fiddler on the Roof, what is Tevye's profession? Tailor, grocer, milkman, scholar. I have actually been in two different productions of Fiddler on the Roof, because I'm kind of a ham too. Tevye is a milkman, C. That's my final answer. Can you sing anything from Fiddler on the Roof? <laughs> if I were a rich woman. <laughs> hey, you're getting there. You got 32,000. <laughs> Going for 64,000 now, Nancy. <laughs> Amtrak's scenic Coast Starlight train service runs between which of these two U.S. cities? San Diego and New York, Miami and Boston, Houston and New Orleans, Los Angeles and Seattle.
post Starlight train service. Most scenic route I can think of, if it were me and I were taking it, and I'm gonna go ahead and go with one of these anyway, because what have I got to lose? Nothing, it's a free That's guess. That's right. I'm going to say, because I think it's the prettiest route I can think of, would be Los Angeles and Seattle. I'm going to say D. We'll go for a final and see what happens. Okay. Got to tell you, it's getting noisy in that classroom back home. The kids are screaming. You got sixty-four thousand dollars. call you Nancy? Do they call you by your first name? Or they no, call you no. Miss... They call me Miss Christie. Miss Christie. I, I address them by their last names too. You I think do. It, it gets a better atmosphere in the class. A lot class. of respect in that class. It does. And they, you know, if I respect them, they respect me back and it just, it works real well. I'm sure they respected you before today, but mm. even more so now. Because you took chances and you're doing great. Going for $125,000. Girl detective Nancy Drew made her debut in the 1930 book titled The Secret of the What? Haunted Museum, Lost Diamond, Ancient Treasure, Old Clock. I have my mother's volume of this. It's blue, red imprint on the front. Secret of the Old Clock, D. And that's my final answer. Look at you go, you got a hundred twenty five. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> mm, boy, how you doing? Much better now, thank you. <laughs> what is this money? I'm just looking at this money, $125,000. What did it mean to you when you look at that? This mean, this makes my life a whole lot easier. Um, I can do things like, you know, maybe have a housekeeper once a month to come in and you know do all the things that, things, a yard, you know, yard man, do some landscaping, uh, trips with my kids. Yeah, just all those fun. wonderful things you've never yeah. had the chance yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. Well, with two hundred fifty thousand, you can do even more. Oh, yeah. So let's go for that. <laughs> oh man! On the California coast, what kind of fish is known for coming ashore and laying its eggs on the beach? Pupfish, loach, grunion, sawfish. I used to work at the Department of the Interior years ago before I got married. My old boss was from California, where at one point he'd even been a uh, fish and game commissioner. And thanks, Ray. The answer is C, Grunion. Final answer. I can hear them in Tulsa. In the break, I turned to you, Nancy, and I went, ah! It's so, it's so exciting. You said before at 125000 how life-changing that money is, and now you are at $250,000. Incredible. You worked so hard your whole oh. life, raising your kids as a single mom, mm -hmm. three different jobs. <laughs> now you're a middle school teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm sure working very hard at that as well, and That's this kind great. of money. This is just, this, this is, as you said, it's a life-changer. This just makes everything so much easier and much more fun. <laughs> Did you bring any good luck charms with you? Uh, well, not like that I could carry with me, but before I left, the kids made a banner and paste, taped it up in the hall, and there must be 300 signatures on it from students all over the school. So I rolled it all up and put it in my suitcase, and right now it's masking tape to the wall of my hotel. Uh -huh. <laughs> I rubbed my hands all over it before I left this morning, <laughs> so I figure I've got all their good luck. <laughs> well, it's working. Do you want to say hi to them before we go on? Hello, Carver Middle School. Go Wildcats. <laughs> oh, they're the Wildcats. They are the Wildcats. Well, right cats, now, you're yes. the Wildcat. You got 250000 You're two away from $1 million. Unbelievable. No lifelines left. Are you ready to play? I am. Okay, let's play. $500,000, Nancy. In 1957, Jorn Jutzen won an international competition to design what architectural landmark? Sears Tower, Sydney Opera House, Seattle Space Needle, Pompidou Center. Hey. Jorn Jutzen. Golly. The 
again, I've got a gut feeling, but oh, that is a lot of money. Mm, what's your gut feeling? The gut feel is the Opera House. Seattle Space Needle, I think, would have been in the 60s. I have no idea on the Sears Tower. I ought to know more than this. The Pompidou Center, I don't know either. It's a lot oh, of money. It, it is. It gamble, is. But if you got it right, again, it's 500000 mm Mm-hmm. You're gambling with $218,000. I know, and that's a lot of money. First thing that popped into my head even before I saw the answers was the opera house. Because it does he that's kind of a Norwegian name and you know that, that part of the country and they're real known for their clean lines and oh man. You know, in for a penny, in for a pound, you know? Thirty-two thousand dollars would make a great vacation. Half a million would be just incredible. Let's give it a shot and go with the Sydney Opera House B. And that's my final answer. Oh, Nancy. Oh, gosh. You're one away from a million dollars. <laughs> Now I get you are kind of crazy. You take risks. <laughs> well, I haven't taken risks like that since I've had kids. But, uh, I'm, I told somebody at school the other day, I'm first responder and CPR certified at school and all, and I'm prepared if you're having a heart attack. I'm having a heart attack, but I don't know what a, if I have one. Uh, oh. Oh. This is... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one question between you and a million dollars. Are you ready to see it? I guess. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Who did artist Grant Wood use as the model for the farmer in his classic painting, American Gothic? Traveling salesman, local sheriff, his dentist, his butcher. I lived in Washington, D.C. for a whole lot of years. And I used to be a part of a performing group. And we opened the show one time with a diptych of American Gothic. And I was, you know, the lady and all of this. That was his sister, but the farmer was his dentist, C. And that's my final answer. We have our first woman as a millionaire.
finally a woman, and it couldn't happen to a better person or a nicer person. Nancy, congratulations. Thank you. It is so exciting. Uh, I know in the break you were saying that you're not going to sleep tonight, and one gentleman in the audience said, take us to dinner. You know? <laughs> Pizza's on me. No. <laughs> you know, your students are going to listen to everything you say from now on. That's right. They are not going to mess with you. You don't question me. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. They're going to be so proud of you. Oh, thank you. This is just great. Who's, uh, who's the first person that you want to tell? Oh, my gosh. My kids. My mom. Um, it's my, my mom's going to have a heart attack. My, <laughs> my daughter's going to start deciding, you know, upgrade the car. My son just turned 16. No, you cannot have a Corvette. Uh, <laughs> well, you said it's going to change your life. Tell me something you're going to do for yourself. You've, you know, you've struggled for many, many years. What do you want to do for you, Nancy? Well, you know, I've always thought when I would love to be able to, you know, I'm curious. I love to travel. I love to go and look and learn and do things. I've always wanted to have the means to be able to stop working for a while and of all things, I want to go work on an archaeological dig somewhere. It just fascinates me. And I could do that. The bills would be paid. I wouldn't have to worry about it. You want to go on an archaeological dig? Yeah. Oh, you know, pith helmet and sunscreen and you know, down on my hands and knees. Give me that money. I want to <laughs> go on a spa vacation. <laughs> well, now, that's, that's when I get back. Because then you've got to have, you know, the calluses buffed off and all. And for people who have become jaded about this sort of thing, you told us that this amount of money would take you 40 years as a teacher mm -hmm. to make yeah. this in Oklahoma. Right. Yeah, 40 years. <laughs> oh, this is just, I, I'm sorry, I'm just speechless. I can well, almost, you I can't speechless. even talk. It, yeah, this is just, yeah, 40 years. And, but, you know, it's sad that it would, that, you know, how low on the totem pole teachers tend to be on the pay scale. But, uh, <laughs> you know, one, well, one is doing real well. Absolutely, <laughs> one is doing, all should do so well. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're a credit to your yeah. profession yeah. and to this show, and we've delighted in having you here. Thank it's going to be hard for the next contestant who has to come out and follow oh, you. Oh, gosh. But oh. we still have some show to do. So, okay. Nancy, what can I say? But you are fantastic. Congratulations to you. Thank you, you so much. You are just great. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh. Enjoy it. I will. <laughs>